Marhaba friends, would you like to dual boot Windows 10 and Pop! OS and use Windows 10 to boot into Pop! OS and not the other way around? It's easy, let me guide you. And yes, let me say this upfront, this video is for the legacy MBR systems and not for the UEFI systems. So if you have an MBR system and you're looking to install Pop! OS alongside your Windows 10 installation, you're in for a treat. <laughs> and to go about this, we need, we have some requirements. Number one, you need an additional PC, a spare PC, in addition to where you're installing Pop! OS. We'll find the reason later on. You need little courage and <laughs> sprinkled with my Hikmat, you will be able to dual boot Windows 10 and Pop! OS using Windows to, poop into, <laughs> to boot into uh, Pop! and not the other way around. So, it, I had the same case because I did not want to lose my Windows installation. So tighten your seat belts. You're in for a ride. All right. Without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we have to get into our computer bias and make sure that legacy support is enabled and secure boot is disabled legacy support may or may not be there in bias but definitely secure boot must be there so secure please disable secure boot so if i type in winwar we'll see we have windows version 2004 may 2020 update now let's head over to device manager where we go, i'm going to find my display adapter whether we have an intel or amd or nvidia as you can see i have an intel if you have an Intel or AMD, you need to download one kind of Pop! OS ISO. If you have an NVIDIA, you are in for a treat. You, we have a Pop! OS specifically for NVIDIA graphics card, then you can download that. If you have a dual boot system, I would recommend first installing the Intel and then you use a command to install the NVIDIA drivers. All right, heading over to disk management. On my E drive, I'm going to install Pop! OS, which has 100 GB free. So to prepare it, I'm going to right click and say delete volume and I'm going to say yes. And once it's deleted, my drive will be prepared to install Pop! OS. It will show up as unallocated in Pop! OS. So that's it. That, let's head on to downloading Pop! OS. And yes, please make a backup of your windows. So on Pop! OS, down, I will put a link to the download screen on Pop! OS. It's incredibly useful. So click on the download button. We will be presented with a screen where we can download two types of Pop! OS, the download and download NVIDIA. The Intel downloads are 2.09 gigs and the NVIDIA downloads are 2.36 gigs. As you can see, I have highlighted where we say disable secure boot in a bias to install Pop! OS. So since I have an Intel card, I'm going to download the 2.09 GB file. I've already downloaded it. Let's burn it with Rufus. I'm going to say Choco search for Rufus. And if, by the way, if you don't have Chocolatey on your system, Windows system, please install it. And once Chocolatey has found Rufus, I'm going to say Choco install Rufus. You see, this is, this is the way I'm getting Rufus on my system. If you want, you can browse to the Rufus website and download it. This is just a system that I use. I would highly recommend get it. There are good tutorials on YouTube. Please see how you can install it. Once Rufus has been installed, I'm going to, I'm going to say Rufus from the command line and Rufus shows up. Yes. And I'm going to plug in my USB drive. So Rufus will detect it. Yeah. And it has detected it. I'm going to select, next we will select the Pop! OS installation file, which is on my desktop, the ISO file, AMD Intel 11 ISO file, and make sure that the partition scheme is selected as MBR and the target system is selected as BIOS. These are grayed out, so you will not be able to change it. That is what you need to do. Since this video is for the legacy systems, MBR partition scheme is required. Otherwise, the Pop! OS bootable USB will not even boot up on your, on your computer. All right, now once the USB has been written, I'm going to switch over from my screen recorder to my phone recorder. So I apologize for the video quality. I'll select a better camera angle the next time. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we are on my phone recorder now and I'm gonna use my USB and plug it in the USB slot. 
and I'm going to reboot my Windows with and will be booting with our Pop OS bootable USB. Okay, so it's restarting and I'm going to press as escape and F9 and I'm saying boot divide options where we will boot with our Sanders. So first we'll get the screen where you don't have to panic. Looks okay. Okay, and now we have greeting with this pop screen. I'm going to say English and select and the United States of America, English US, default keyboard layout and we'll say custom install advance. On this screen, we are going to select modify partition. Modify, uh, we're going to select modify partition because we need to par partition our, uh, we need to partition our drive to install pop OS. Once this screen comes up, this is the most important part. So I'm going to zoom in and show you guys. Okay, so this is the 100 GB I had freed up in my windows, which shows up as unallocated on my, on, on this screen. Okay, I'm going to use this to install pop OS. As the guideline says, I just need two partitions, the root and the Linux swap. So I'm going to right click. Uh, let me see this. Okay, we can even move this around. See the, uh, the advice which says I must select at least two partitions. So I'm going to right click and select a new partition. And since I have 100 gigs, I'm, I'm going to allocate 92 gigs to pop OS. So 1024 into 92 is 94208. New size in MIB, which, which is um, MIB is not megabits. It's it's something I don't remember on the top of my head. Uh, file system should be ext4. Please remember that and create as logical partition. Okay, so we, we will click on add. And if we bring our screen down, it says one operation pending. And we will see we have created a new partition ext4. And on the unallocated space, I'm going to create Linux swap. I'm going to give it eight gigs. I have a four gigs of RAM. I'm going to double the size for the swap. You, you can scream as you say, yeah, that's not good, but I just give it the, the double the size, so don't worry. So Linux swap, I'm going to select file system Linux swap, and I'm going to add it. So 8192, how did I come up? So it's 8, 8 into 1024, that is 8192. Now I'm going to click on apply, and the boot manager for Pop OS is going to write, the partition manager for Pop OS is going to write all these operations to my E drive. So my partitions are going to be permanent. And once this operation completes, we are going to close this window. And as you can see clearly, once the screen refreshes, where that we have two partitions where we'll be where we will be installing Pop OS. So we have ext4 and Linux swap. So once the screen refreshes, we'll wait for the screen to refresh, and then we are going to make a final selection for us. To be to install pop os and once yes it's had refreshed so we'll click on the green which is 92 gigs and we'll say use partition and we'll say use partition and we'll format it just to be on the safe side use as root i'm going to click outside file system ext4 is fine on i'm going to click on the right i'm going to say use partition use as swap and i'm going to click outside and the validation has passed now we can click on erase and install. This is the step which is going to install Pop OS on your system. So this is going to take some time. I go to speed up this video. Midway through this installation, it will ask you to restart your machine. So you'll have to restart your machine. You can just click on restart. I clicked on shutdown and then I physically restarted my, my machine and it's just the same. So I, I just click on restart and not shut down. I clicked on shut down for, by mistake. Okay, so it's shut, shutting down. I'm gonna restart it and it, the pop OS welcome screen came up back again. Just half, not even, we are not, not even halfway through. So please hang on, okay. Watch this video till the end for you to see the success at the end. Okay, all right. So we are coming at the welcome screen, something in Chinese maybe, okay, all right. So I'm gonna say English, US, and I'm going to click on next. And Wi-Fi already have freedom. And next screen is privacy, location, services. I'm going to turn it off. Next, uh, click on next. Time zone, it correctly detected where I am. On uh, connect online account, there's so many accounts. I'm not going to use any of them right now. This is just an installation video. So I'm going to say skip. About you, what's my full name? My full name is Hikmate Ustad. So I'm going to type in Hikmate Ustad. I'm going to use the same username, Hikmate Ustad. All right. So, and 
click on next and it's going to set a password so i'm going to set my password as okay password is super super secret next um validation pass all done so yes we are good to go and as you can see we have installed pop os on our system but we have pop os right we i don't know where our windows is to just to show you that pop os works correctly i'm just going to open a browser and browse to the reddit size it's not a check i mean internet works internet works okay but and pop os should work too okay so we installed pop os but i don't know where is our windows right so i'm going to shut down this computer and i'm going to turn it back on and see if we can find our windows installation so i'm going to say okay power off power off again and say power off and when i power it back on it says pop gnu linux this is grub2 and if i select the down arrow it says what uh, advanced options for pop gnu linux i can't find my windows installation <laughs> there's no need to panic guys we're going to bring back our windows installation to bring back our windows installation we need that spare system i talked about earlier right to burn our windows os in uh, iso file using rufus so as you can see i have selected windows 10 2004 and on the same usb in which i had pop os i'm going to overwrite with windows part scheme again should be mbr and target system bias again not for uefi this video is not for UEFI. i can't stress this enough so if you uefi guys i'm sorry okay <laughs> all right so click on start and uh, this this is fine i'm going to overwrite everything and once this overrides we are going to again insert this usb in our usb slot and boot from our usb for a normal windows installation but no we are not going to clean install windows we are going to fix our mbr and bring back a windows installation so what has happened is is pop os has overwritten M windows mbr so okay now i'm booting it up again it says um, the f9 boot device options and i'm going to select my sandisk if i press f9 i'm going to select my sandisk and boot it up back again it says boot from cd uh, boot from usb and i've pressed the enter key and we are booting from my usb this should look familiar right <laughs> uh, okay we've all gone through this process our uh, windows installation okay so once the screen comes up click on next and on the next screen click on repair your computer not install now click on repair your computer okay not install now and on the screen click on troubleshoot and on on that this screen click on command prompt okay now once the command prompt is coming up i again apologize for the video quality guys i mean my phone quality okay okay so we need three commands and on the screen we say boot rec so boot record front slash fix mbr so i'm going to say fix mbr and as you can see my hand again there coming between so ins operation completed successfully next command i'm going to hit the up arrow and i'm going to say boot rec fix boot so b o o t fix boot okay access denied don't panic guys it gives an error but we will be fine okay and the third command is boot rec fix uh read not fix we have front slash rebuild bcd so r e b u i l d b c d so b c d that's it so hit enter scanning all this for windows installations please wait since this may take a while and yes it took a while i don't know what your definition for a while is but it did take a while okay so once this command completes we will see what in the windows installation it's found and this will hopefully bring back our windows installation yes successfully scanned windows installation total identified windows installation is zero operation completed successfully <laughs> don't worry guys we will be fine that's why i said you need a little courage i was i was yeah i was i don't know I, what i was doing but i just hit exit and and let's just restart a pc let's turn off my pc and restart it again i'm going to take out my usb this time and i'm going to boot back in Hit the power button and our windows logo has shown up doesn't it look comforting <laughs> yeah we got our hikmat Ustad windows installation back you see yes we got our windows installation back we we installed pop os and it over even what was the word overwrite or overwritten overrode or no overwrote yeah overwrote is that even an english word i don't know anyway so 
we have our windows installation back guys anti beacon let it run and i'm going to switch back to my obs recorder on this recorder i'm going to first start up disk management to show you that i have popos installed and i'm not cheating on you guys all right so you see this zero partition six is 92 gigs which is the boot and this zero partition seven is eight linux swap so this system still contains the pop os now since we have got windows back we need to fix our mbr again to allow us a windows to poop into <laughs> boot into pop okay so okay for that we're going to need a tool called bcd easy bcd and on this once it opens i'll put a link for you to download well, I click on add new entry go on linux bsd select type grub2 give it a name nice smart name the name only name that i can think of right now is pop bang underscore os <laughs> very smart huh okay and drive automatically locate and load click on the green button there to add an entry into the boot menu and you see windows 10 is the default and pop os is there so and we'll say countdown from not zero but 10 so it will give us 10 seconds for us to choose windows or pop if you don't choose anything it boot boot into windows okay again i clicked on save settings and our settings have been saved so i'm going to switch back to my phone recorder again again um i'll fix my recording outside this screen so let's click on restart and we are going to be moment of truth coming up shortly guys can we fix it Yes, and uh, I have changed my camera position and pulled my your laptop screen a little front so I we can see so the dark patches are not there. And this is this is the first time I'm recording from my phone and I don't know how to vertically and I don't know what is the best. So I pulled it and it looks better. Yes, 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 yes. You see there that Windows 10 and Pop OS. So yes, now you could fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Using this video, yo, yo, yo all right <laughs> pop os okay so it's booting into pop os let's see if we can boot or not yay yeah <laughs> all right so we got it guys so we i think we got it we got it see you see that hikmat -e ustad screen so i'm going to put in my password and you will see pop os once again yeah we can see pop os and windows os so yes i am super super thrilled to show you guys this thing because i am going to use it myself to dual boot windows and pop so if i have to summarize the overall process we had a windows installation we downloaded pop and we installed pop and the grub2 in pop overwrote mbr we fixed the mbr to get back our windows and we lost pop and we fixed the windows mbr to point it to pop installation so now we can use windows 10 to boot into pop, to boot into pop and we are good to go so hopefully guys you liked what you saw and if you liked what you saw please support me by subscribing by sharing with your friends by hitting that like button and hit the bell icon too so you'll be notified whenever i make new videos like this thank you so much for your time take care stay safe